So guess where are we going to? We're actually going to Babcock Ranch. It's a fully sustainable city. Um, it has 100% uh, solar power. It's the first one in the country, I believe, to uh, run off um, the whole community uh, runs off solar power. So we're gonna go check it out. They have tons of models. They have a boat tour, a bus tour, so um, autonomous um, vehicles as well that take you around the neighborhood. So we're gonna go check it out. Like that's right. All right. So stay with me. Don't go anywhere. Alright guys, we are here, uh, where are we? Uh, Founders Square, I believe that's what they call it. It's in the middle of town here at the Babcock Ranch, uh, kind of center of town. We got little uh, restaurants, kind of a little fountain that can play in, a nice lake. Uh, got like an information center where they sell t-shirts and things like that too. Kind of a sales center. So you get all your um, information about the models and things like that. And a lot of nice outdoor seating areas covered. It's very beautiful. Pretty. Quiet. Not a lot of traffic. Solar panels over there. Already we see them. Solar on the roof of the uh, medical center there. I think there's a little school right there too. So there's going to be more businesses here, but we just have a few right now. So very well designed, well maintained. We're going to take a boat tour, right? Yeah, boat tour, a couple hours, and uh, they have autonomous shuttles you can take around the, uh, the area. So yeah, really cool, very unique, very nice. Alright, so let's take more pictures. Bye. Okay, so okay. now we're going to do a little bit of exercise. We are here ready to ride this bicycle well actually I'm waiting for my wife she's coming soon but we're gonna be riding this bicycle nearby to see the location a little more let's go down the street this car is coming this way here well, on the, that lane that lane Downtown is the heart and soul of Babcock Ranch, designed to foster personal connection, well-being, and lifelong learning opportunities for our residents. With its gorgeous lakefront and comforting Main Street ambiance, Founder Square has a way of inviting you to come as you are and enjoy everything downtown offers. I made a little stop here after riding the bicycle because I want to show you this. Behind me, the lake. And then what? Charging stations to charge your electric vehicle. How about that? That's cool. Uh, it's still the same same function, but that's all we all we had. We didn't have any of that. Wow. Mm -hmm. These evenings are still pretty quiet. The town. It's very quiet. Yeah, I I for one want to be a resident. So we are here and we are just about to take the autonomous vehicle ride. It's coming right behind me. You can see it right there. It's coming very slow. see if anybody um, or any cars are on the way. 
Now Babcock Ranch is unique because it was the first Greenfield Master Plan Smart Town in the U.S. and it's the world's first town utilizing on-site solar generation facilities to produce more clean, renewable energy than it consumes. Now the solar energy field has 343,000 panels uh, laid out along 440 acres. Um, they also dedicate about 50% of the land to natural greenways, parks, and lakes, and uh, it's surrounded by a 73,000 73, acre nature preserve. Uh, and of course it's the first autonomous shuttle network in America. Of course we're driving on the autonomous vehicle right now. As part of the Phase 1 of Babcock Ranch, they have three neighborhoods. Uh, we're actually going to see two of them today, uh, Parkside and Trails Edge. Parkside is Pulte Homes, and Trails Edge is Lennar Homes. Um, they're first three neighborhoods, like I said, and they uh, represent the timeless architectural designs, encourage social interaction, reflect a strong sense of town. They have a variety of home styles and price points. Uh, easy walking or biking distance to downtown amenities, access to Babcock Ranch trail systems, so finding your ideal home is going to be very easy in this area. Now we are going to take a look at Lennar Homes and see what they have to offer to the public. Now this autonomous vehicle has a, a top speed of only 30 miles an hour. It has eight USB ports. You can charge your phone or any device. And it has a capacity for only 12 people. Um, but it's a nice, smooth, quiet ride because it's air conditioned and it's electric. These solar trees, um, you can charge your devices on them. They have plugs on the bottom uh, and a USB outlet. And also, um, they have free Wi-Fi here, too. talk about our experience yesterday at a what? Uh, it's a, a sustainable city. It's called Babcock Ranch. Um, it's the first uh, solar powered city, uh, master plan community mm -hmm. in the United States. And it's in like Charlotte County and Lee County, which is uh, really near Fort Myers uh, in Florida on the West Coast. Yeah, it's about two hours from Tampa Right. Drive. Yeah, yeah um, they have a schedule for different activities that you can do when you visit this place. And one of them is um, a tour to the solar array in the morning, right? Right, on Saturdays they do a, a mm -hmm. I guess like a bus tour to the solar array. I think it's about five miles from the actual uh, neighborhood. So it's, you can't really walk there, you have to take the tour. It's Saturdays at 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Those are the only times they do it. So but we missed that we because missed we it couldn't we get there, there on about time. 11.30, so we just missed mm -hmm. the second tour, but that's all they do of that. But they have other kind of interesting things to do. They have a boat tour, they have a small um, lake, uh, Lake Babcock, and they take you around that. A lot of homes are going to be around the lake. There's a few built already. Um, and it's uh, like a well, 30 minute boat ride, it's free, you just have to sign up to, to get on the boat. And they have, um, what else do they have, any of those well, sustainable actually, It's not a small lake, vehicles. it's kind of big, it's a big lake. Well, and 
and the tour on the boat was nice yeah yeah um, and it was an electric boat so mm -hmm. it was very it's quiet, very quiet. You no know, yeah. smoke no noise no engine smooth no vibration of the because of the engine you know it's, it's very smooth and you can talk you can talk with other people because it's no it's not loud at all yeah it it's was a, it was very pleasant very yeah. good uh experience yeah yeah, that was the first time we've been on an electric boat. We've heard about them, seen them you right. know, on TV and things. So that was really, really cool. Um, then we also had our first experience on a um, autonomous vehicle. It was a small autonomous, um, almost like a bus, or like yeah. a small vehicle that um, takes you around just kind of to the models and just around the neighborhood a little bit. Eventually, they're going to use them program them to know every street in the neighborhood to have stops to pick you up just like a regular bus they only sit about 12 people he said but they're going to be multiple mm -hmm. ones so they'll uh, you know have it's multiple small. stops yeah small but but it's good enough for the location where right they're going to be serving big, so. uh, the city and then eventually they said they're going to use it for um food delivery uh once a uh, supermarket kind of gets into the neighborhood I'll use it for delivering um, food to your door. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and right now they good. are they are um, when you are on this autonomous uh, vehicle, there is one operator that is there just in case because they still uh, making some adjustments um, or calibrating. I think he said. Yeah, they're programming uh, it. It's still in the new phase. Yeah. Um, and they seem still growing, yeah. so they still have to add new locations on the map so the vehicle knows where it is and where it's going to yeah I think eventually they're not gonna have the operator but mm -hmm. right now they have a representative yeah. from the company in the vehicle telling it you know kind of to stop when people are crossing and things like that but yeah. eventually it'll know how to do all that without and they anybody. say and they say and he said uh, it might be another year before it's a hundred percent autonomous with no operators at all yeah, so it's mm -hmm. take a little while, but for now it's it's fun because then we can kind of give you a little bit of information about the neighborhood too. The guy on the mm -hmm. uh, on the like a little live music at the restaurant. Yeah, some music uh, outside. You can sit there outdoors, right in the water. The view is right amazing nice. from the restaurant. It's nice, and the park, the park that is right there next to the uh, the lake, it is also also very nice. Um, they have a whole shop where you can buy T-shirts and buy different outdoors type of things in there too um a little i guess they call it like a little store i guess a little general store with a salad bar and more food to eat mm -hmm. kind of is one of like the stores a, it's in like town. a mini market where you can get a little bit of everything yeah a little bit of fresh produce mm -hmm. and they they have their own gardens too yeah uh, we were told we didn't see that see them but they have community gardens where they grow a lot of fresh vegetables and in the restaurants and they have different kind of beer yeah. and wine well they have a, a i don't think they don't make their own no, beer and wine no they but, don't but but they have a good selection of yeah. beers wines even liquors in that little general store just a, a lot of organic things um samples of different organic products well you probably can't do your whole week's grocery shopping there but people live there who want some unique organic and healthy foods and fresh vegetables um, and produce it was a good little market and I'm sure they'll be expanding also um, we visit uh, we visit two neighborhoods that are building in this city um, Lenar Homes right. and Pulte Homes was Pulte the other homes. ones um, they're both pretty reasonably priced um, they start you can get Close just, to the just under 200 in Lenar and then most of them are in the mid you know, or low 200s for the mm -hmm. um, those two builders in that section. That's that part's growing pretty fast. Um, and Beautiful homes. Yeah, yeah they're really nice. Great designs. And they're all going to be kind of smart homes, eco-friendly, and all that. Very um, well, uh, uh, energy efficient. Right. Yeah, energy mm -hmm. efficient. Um, you know, because they're part of this community that's powered by solar so I'm sure they have strict rules about what you can for the builders and how they can build their homes eco-friendly right. and I believe great. that uh, they're gonna have um, uh, electric car charging stations ready in the garage 
So if you ever buy an electric car, the plug is going to be ready. That's what I think that it's they're well, going to have a 240 volt. I think that was just uh, in our homes and yeah. in so, you know some of the more maybe a little bit deluxe, I mean, a little bit more deluxe home at the entry level homes, mm -hmm. but it's something that is is really good and they're thinking ahead of yeah. people. So that, you don't have to hire an electrician to right. do the and connections. The type of people that will be in that type of community will be ones that are concerned with the environment uh, and more than likely will have some kind of electric vehicle or hybrid. So that's what they're mm -hmm. probably thinking. They might as well cater to them and already offer this. Yeah, I think outlet. that in the next five years or ten years, most of the cars that you're going to see in the city are going to be electric because it's another complement for the for the city. You get yeah. uh, energy from the sun. You're using clean energy to run your house and to charge your vehicle, so it's pretty good. Yeah, it was um, really a nice, you know, well thought out neighborhood, nice place. Um, the settings are amazing, it's beautiful. Yeah, the whole neighborhood was well designed and really quality. Um, I guess the only downside is it's a little bit in the country, I'd mm -hmm. say, still, at yeah. least the way we came coming from. Um, uh, coming, going south from Tampa down uh, the oh, way, the directions and set, and you get off, 31. and it's pretty abandoned. It's yeah. very rural still but there. But it looks like that. But in terms of timing, it wasn't too far because from I seventy five to this community to this city, it was only about five minutes. Well, maybe it a wasn't, little longer than that, but yeah, it wasn't it, too it, far. It wasn't too far. A couple of highways off. Yeah. 75 to short roads and but, but to get it was rural. to the nearest uh, Publix for example it's about five miles it's not too far well I guess going a different direction and then we came, to yeah. go to four miles yeah then you are you're adding 10 or 20 miles distance yeah I think they said it was about 20 28 miles to Punta to Gorda yeah yeah Fort Myers so and Punta Gorda the two biggest you cities. got almost everything in a 20 mile range uh, going, I still think that's going a little west. far. <laughs> yeah. I like that a little closer. But as soon uh, the plan for the whole neighborhood is 19,000 homes or close to 20,000 homes. So right now mm -hmm. I think they said there's only like 400 yeah. residents or something like that. So the plans are huge for that neighborhood. Yeah. So eventually the whole area is going to grow. I mean, right now so. they have a gym. Uh, they have a little kind of hospital. Well, it's like a health center, and it has yeah. a whole workout facility in there, a pool, and they actually yeah. have doctors and physical therapists mm -hmm. and everything in there too, which yeah. is like a rehab center. So and they have a school nice for schools. children. Um, a couple, I think, a daycare and a school. I said a couple of um, small, I guess you call it like store, um, two restaurants, a little ice cream shop. Um, the the main and the thing center. is that when while you are there. You feel like you are on vacation. It doesn't feel like uh, a busy city or something like that. No, it's, it's, it's quiet. quiet yeah. It's quiet, so you can really enjoy the the nature that they offer in this location. Uh, there's not a lot of traffic. It's not close to a highway mm, or a stadium no, or a, a big or high school or something like that. I just not hope yet. it stays like that. Um, and I know the guy who bought all the land um donated i mean a big portion of it back to the state as a preserve so they can't build on mm -hmm. like a big big portion of it and i think they said he only developed on a fifth of that land so it's just a small portion where they're building this neighborhood and they're trying to keep it kind of natural with lots of lakes in between and um yeah. and good you know the uh, layout is very is very yeah. good yeah every neighborhood plants. has mm -hmm. a lot of uh lakes nearby and in most of these communities that we saw, they don't have a house behind you. Right, it's a good plan. You know, they either back up the, the way water that, or to exactly. guess, a, a nature preserve or so something. Yeah. Go to their website and check it out. There is a lot of information there. All right, so I think it's time to go. Anything else that you want to add? No, it was an enjoyable visit. Um, I encourage people to go check it out themselves. Um, you know, so they're, they're still building, they're going to be building for a while, 
Um, I think the next thing is, is a, like a golf course they're going to build there mm -hmm. too with some homes golf. there. Um, and the homes weren't too out of range. You can get, I think, a condo or um, yeah, an apartment or something like yeah. that under 200 and still be in the golf course community, which is, I think, yeah, a Yeah, there's going to be more options so for everyone. It'll be yeah. real nice and exclusive, but um, still relatively affordable. affordable. For most people. Yeah. And, uh, and just a nice, I guess, Florida lifestyle. All right, guys. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching our channel. And we'll see you the next time. Okay? okay bye. Bye.